I'm sitting here on a Friday evening with my brain in a state of being fried. For many years now, my very good friend Janet Murphy, the publisher at Adelaide Coles, has been on at me to write a textbook about ocean sailing. And finally, I've capitulated and I've done it. I've finished it today. So this is a great day in my life and uh, I've treated myself to a whiskey, which I've now drunk, and I've got this sextant out and I'm just looking at it to remind me what life's all about. There's one chapter in this book about astro-navigation. It's quite a long chapter. It's about seven or 8,000 words. But all it tells you is how to shoot the sun successfully at noon and in the forenoon or afternoon to give you a fix. It doesn't go into stars and planets and all the rest. If you want that, you'll have to buy my book, Celestial Navigation, which I strongly recommend. But this is survival astro, really. But I've had to get my head around it all over again. It was 20 years since I wrote the last book about astro, and, and well, it's only when you write a book about it that you realise uh, how much you've forgotten. Yet, I do it. I do it all the time. Every summer I get my sextant out on my tables and I do it. I've had a private client here this week and we've been studying Astro. We actually went down to the beach at Barton-on-Sea and we shot the sun and we got a position line and, you know, it was four miles out. Very disappointing. If I can't get within two miles on a week with the weather like we've just had, bloody wonderful. Um, it's a poor show. But it was the horizon. It wasn't a good horizon. And there's something about horizons, you know. It all comes down to them in the end, because it's the angle between the sun and the horizon that ultimately tells us where we are. And if the horizon's a bit hazy, um, well, that's you really. You have to make an assessment as to how good the horizon is, and, uh, and that's what you stand or fall on. But the horizon two nights ago wasn't bad at all at my place here in the woods, over towards Salisbury. The sky towards Salisbury was dark, there was no ambient light coming off the city. We are 10 or 12 miles away and there was nothing. And over the rooftop, my little place, the moon was sailing like Alfred Noy's ghostly galleon. It was uh, going away towards the old moon. Not much of it left now, it was a proper crescent. And not in the arms of the crescent, but standing away at a good arm's length was Jupiter. And I've never seen Jupiter so bright. It must be quite close to us. It was absolutely blazing. So I got my old telescope out and I had a look and I could see the moons circling the great gas giant as it roars around the sun. Goodness knows what's going on in there. You can't imagine the storms that are taking place on the surface. As we sit here on snug little planet Earth, it's not so bad. And the sextant puts me in touch with all that. I'm pleased with the progress navigation's made. It's nice to know where we are all the time, and GPS has done a lot for us. But you know, we've lost a great deal in the process. Things that are hard for us to understand. Our grip on reality is drifting away. And we mustn't lose it. We must fight to hang on to the things that really count.